probably the, the real meat of an upper respiratory lymphatic treatment. I'll explain this very carefully. You always, in, in a situation where someone is really ill and they're coughing and expelling mucus, you don't want their face looking at you. You want to move them. So let's, let's assume that she's not feeling well and I'm going to have her move her head away from me. Uh, again, females, I would prefer that she takes her hands and as if she was being embalmed, like she would know that, uh, put, her, put her hands on her sternum so you're being discreet and respectful. And you're going to take your hands and you're going to place them here. So we call this, in, in Nicholas, it's called the Miller's Pump. This is a thoracic drainage technique. Back in the old days, my dad was a family physician first before he became a radiologist. And he used to pump on my chest when I was a kid. I don't know what the heck he was doing. Now I understand when I became an osteopathic physician what he was doing. This is going to look like an exorcism, but relax. So take a deep breath in. And basically, if you do the oscillatory method, breathe out and relax. It's going to look like this. So we're just oscillating. Breathe in and breathe out. We're using, what, what, again, with the release enhancing mechanism called breathing, breathe in. And so this is gentle. Now, I'm a little bit more aggressive note, so this is what I would say. We teach something, the more aggressive one is called the Miller's Pump Atelectasis Emphasis. When we talk about atelectasis, we're talking about the, the very last pathway in the, the bronchioles of the, atele, uh, the, um, uh, the alveoli. And what you want to do in order to go down to the alveoli, we're going to be a little bit more aggressive. So I'm going to take this and and my, my stance is going to be as if I used to wrestle. So you put your anterior uh, leg forward and your back legs are using your hips and you're going to keep your center of gravity. Take your hands, put it here, and I'm going to put a little bit of my weight into it, breathing deep and breathe out. And I'm going to kind of push down cephalad to quadad and hold it. She's going to keep breathing, but I'm going to keep pressure here. I'm going to resist her, breathe in and breathe out. And I'm going to put a little bit more pressure. I'm going to do this again, breathing deep and breathe out, end exhalation, breathe in, and I'm going to let go. Now, that dramatic release, the idea is that you're going to create a negative intrathoracic pressure gradient such that you're going to suddenly drive that, it's like a thunderclap, and you're going to push that fluid anteriorly to the thoracic duct, and that's going to help. Really. Now, usually when this happens, I have a, I have a patient uh, that comes into me every week that has bronchiectasis, chronic bronchiectasis and COPD, um, and she coughs up mucus. And after I do this about three or four times, she actually has to expectorate into a uh, garbage can using uh, tissues, and she comes up with a lot of thick secreted uh, secretions of mucus because normally with her breathing treatments and, and, and all the other treatments and inhalers she takes, she can't do it herself. Uh, but I'm going to help her, and she ends up coughing, and, it, and like I said, it looks like an exorcism. It's not really, but the idea, you're using the body's innate natural ability to create that pressure gradient and do that. That's called the Miller, Miller's pump, and again, atelectasis emphasis. That's one of three techniques. That's the most aggressive one. You can find that in Nicholas.